Hey there, it's the Cali Grio Insomniac Show for tonight. I'm going to get this straight out of the way. This disclaimer, this is NBC News that I'll be talking about. And the title of this show here is Power and Politics. And I'm starting right here at 2 minutes and at 27 minutes and 17 seconds. And the main reason I was even drawn to this story is uh, Lisa, Lisa Cabrera. She's always got good topics and she's doing uh, the great resignation. And how even these uh, white folks are starting to quit their jobs as far as uh, feeling enslaved on them. They haven't been in the pandemic and things have changed. They don't want to be in these low paying jobs. But this is not a factory job. This is not uh, some low, well, you could consider it low paying depending on how you work it. You know, these senators and politicians and House of Representatives, they be working them stock, that stock market. So let me get to this real quick. And remember, the topic is what Lisa set up, that great resignation. Think about this as this plays, all right? And I'll get back at you. Now to our series, Power and Politics, the biggest headlines from Washington and beyond. Focusing tonight on the state of the midterms. Another Democrat in the House announcing they will not seek re-election. New York Congresswoman Kathleen Rice on Long Island announcing she will retire at the end of her term. Rice becoming the 30th Democrat to announce they will not return to the House after this election cycle. Say so what? Tonight, more from Capitol Hill, let's bring in NBC's Garrett Hake. He covers Capitol Hill for us. Garrett, I want to ask you about that announcement. Like I said, now 30 House Democrats not running for re-election. What are you hearing on Capitol Hill about how Democrats feel ahead of the midterms? Are these districts that Democrats don't have to worry about? I'm going to go slow. Are starting to have a problem on their hands? Yeah, that number is unusually high, Tom. And while Democrats will always tell you they're confident, no member comes out and says, I'm retiring because I think we might lose. When you get to a number this big, you see the problem. Democrats are going to have to defend open seats now from California to Kentucky. And it's a mix of members who've been here a long time, powerful committee chairmen and women who are stepping down, to folks like Rice, who's only been here a couple of terms, would probably have been re-elected re relatively easily, but when now Democrats have to defend these open seats, no incumbency advantage, it just makes it that much harder to spread resources around the map and, and really control their own destiny. It is a very difficult position Democratic leaders find themselves in, still just in the spring, headed towards November's midterms. And speaking of Democrats, domestic issues are clearly on the minds of any politician in America. Restitution. Only inflation and gas Reparations. Prices. New reporting on a poll and a plan some Democrats want to get behind. It's been interesting this week, Tom. We've really heard senators, Democratic senators, pivot to talking more about inflation and cost of living issues uh, than perhaps some of the other issues they were talking about more frequently over the last few months. And a new poll from Quinnipiac makes it pretty easy to see why. Uh, a plurality of Americans, now 27% in this poll identify inflation and cost of living as their biggest issue. It's above COVID, it's above immigration, it's above crime. Uh, it has become the issue that affects real America, that Washington hasn't been as focused on as perhaps it should be. You're seeing uh, Democratic senators in tough re-elections spearhead this conversation. Whether the Senate in particular can pass anything to uh, address these issues is still an open question. The great resignation this poll from CNN, it found that 49% of Republican and Republican leading voters would prefer a different candidate other than former President Trump to run in 2024. What's the thinking on this poll? Because one, that's still pretty good. It's not horrible for Trump. It is down from numbers he's had in the past. But I ask you because you don't hear a lot of Republicans running away from Trump, especially in the primaries. 
No, you really don't. In the primaries is when Trump is probably the most powerful. His endorsement in a lot of these primary races can make the difference for Republicans uh, trying to become their party nominee. A number like that is a political Rorschach test. As you point out, it is down from Trump's highs. He is not as powerful with Republicans as he once was. But at 50 percent, he would win a Republican primary again for president in a walk, a divided field. Nobody's going to be able to beat someone who polls that well, even if he loses another 10 or 15 points off that number, he's still in a very strong position. And so while we're seeing some Republicans, particularly where I'm standing now in the Senate, try to tack away from Trump, find a forward-looking, different direction for their party, numbers like that show he is still the predominant figure in the Republican Party. All right. Well, I bet you one thing, I bet you if that Merrick Garland got on his bumper and got on the bumper of all these people that are, uh, what you call that, allegedly insurrectionists and seditionists. Now, you do know if we pull that, you know what would happen. If we pulled a blockade in Canada at the Canadian border, they wouldn't uh, <laughs> be talking. Yeah, they wouldn't be talking because we know what they do to us. Coming out with tear gas and rubber bullets and dogs and uh, whatever they could do, or impound your stuff, tow it, and yeah, they arrest you, all this pussyfooting around. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Talk about two different justice systems. So now... That was uh, NBC on February the 16th, giving them credit and talking about that great resignation topic that uh, I think Lisa Cabrera does a great job about. So this is just added on to it. 30, 30 or more candidates or, or sitting members of Congress are not running again. And that's just on the Democrat side. Republicans too. All right. Leave in the comments what you think. Tell me all about it. I really want to know. You know, when you don't see me here, it's probably I'm not feeling well, okay? Sometimes I can get a good run in. Other times I just can't even get to uh, getting up and sitting up and just doing this much for you guys, okay? So, leave me some comments, like, subscribe, share and tell people about this little channel. I try to make sure I pick out the news that uh, you'll like the best instead of having to stumble through all these channels. I do all that for you. All right, it's a Cali Grio, and you come back. And you keep coming over to my place. Come on and go with me. Come on over to my channel at the Cali Griot.